Hi, I'm Aaron Runt, and today what I want to be showing you is how to hand program a bolt hole circle on a Haas machine with a G70 code. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to look at this bolt hole pattern that we have here. So we have 250 thousandths diameter, eight places, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. If some people usually count the gaps, I count the holes, but either way will work. So it's also on a three inch bolt hole pattern. That means from my center out to the edge, that is one inch, five hundred thousandths. That's gonna be important because this is gonna be a number that we're gonna input into our code, okay? So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get rid of this, but I'll keep my center line, I'll keep my center point right here because this is what we're gonna call our X, Y, zero. So that means whenever I come here, that's where I'm gonna start. I have to make sure that I'm in the middle of where I want my bolt hole circle to be. Now, whether that is two inches and two inches up from my G54 work offset, or I can go into G91, which is incremental, and I can program from just that point. So you can do it two separate ways. You can call this center point a new work offset, or you can go into incremental mode and program from where you're currently at. So to figure out how we're gonna program from X, Y, zero, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna look at, go ahead and get rid of this. We're gonna look at how we do it. So this is a G70 bolt hole circle command, okay? So I is going to be the radius of the bolt hole circle, that 1.5, okay, one inch, 500 thousandths. Our J is going to be the first hole starting angle, okay, starting from three o'clock, okay? So if you're not familiar with that, one, two, three o'clock. So from three o'clock, that's where we're gonna start. We got a line right here, and you'll see here I got 10 degrees, so I'm gonna continuously go this way so right here would be 90 degrees. So if I was programming it, that's how it would look. Okay, so just kind of give you an idea. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. So very important, L is the number of evenly spaced holes around the bolt hole circle. Now there are other codes in this book that will show you how to go if you have unevenly spaced gaps or if you just want to do an arc, so on and so forth. However, on this example, we're gonna be doing a bolt hole circle with evenly spaced bolts, bolt holes, okay? So, when I'm looking at this, I'm gonna come down here, and this is just a sample. I actually have another one that we're gonna use in our Haas simulator, but this shows us that we're going to G90, G54, that's our work offset. So we're going up X two inches and Y minus, okay? So that's the center point of the bolt hole circle right here. So that's what it's saying is the center point. So it's actually gonna go from zero to a bolt hole circle. So that's also a way to do it as well. Move to the center and then from that position, execute a bolt hole circle. So that's our center. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and we're gonna see how it's turned on the spindle, calling up the tool length offset. So right here, he's got a G81. That's our drill can cycle, remember, when you activate a drill can cycle, the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna drill a hole right where it's at, okay? But we don't want a hole in the center of our part. So that's gonna help us out here in just a second. So, G99, it's our reference return. Z, that's how deep we're going into our hole. R is 100 thousandths above our material, okay? That's our reference plane. We got a feed rate of eight, but if you look right here, I've got an L0. Now, L up here, says evenly number spaces around. Well, that is on the G70 line. However, on a drill can cycle, if you put an L at the end of it, if you look over here, having an L0 on the line will cause the machine not to execute the G81 where it is currently at. So it will pick up all of its drill can cycle information but it will not drill a hole right there on the center. So very imperative that you have L0 on that line of code. So now we get into the actual G70. So when I look at this, I've got my G70, 
I've got my I, okay, so that's one inch, 250 thousandths, but if we come back and look at our part, that I that we have from here over is one inch, 500 thousandths. So our I, not a very good I, will equal one inch, 500 thousandths. So we'll have to keep that there in hours. And then I have a J of 10. Now keep in mind, this is 10 degrees. Now mine is a little bit different. The way I have mine programmed, or I'll have to program mine, is I have from three o'clock, okay? So there's nine o'clock, here's three o'clock, okay? So I'm straight across. Now if I come all the way around, 360 divided by eight is 45, okay? So that means my distance right here is 45 degrees. Now that means whenever I come back to my code, I have to bear with me for a second, but whenever I call up this command, this J, it cannot be zero, okay? It cannot be zero because if it was zero, it would not work because it, sa it says zero degrees, I can't move anywhere. So I'm gonna have to tell it, I'm gonna have to tell it to go 45 degrees to its first hole. So that means the first hole it's going to drill is gonna be right here. And then it will evenly space eight times. So it's gonna go, there's my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this would be my eighth hole, that would be my first hole. And that's very imperative that you do that because if I was to call this one, my first one and that one, my machine would alarm out because it cannot, uh, it cannot compute zero degree angle evenly spaced eight times, everything's zero. So it will alarm out on you. So make sure whenever you're putting in that variable, the J variable, that we're putting in 45 degrees or whatever that first angle is that you need, okay? So now that we have that, let's see what the rest of our code says. So we have from zero, we have our I, which is the distance over, our J, which is our first angle, and we have L. L is the number of evenly, evenly spaced holes around a bolt hole circle. So now that we have the code, what's next? G80. G80 is going to cancel our drill can cycle so that we can geo rapid one inch above the part and then we're gonna turn off our coolant and so on and so forth. So we're done with the bolt hole circle. So now let's see what that bolt hole circle looks like in action. So if I look up here, I have my bolt hole circle for a Haas, I'm gonna show you why it's important that I have that up there to distinguish between the two, between Fanuc and Haas, because it'll be a little bit different and a simulator on a Haas will not compute it. So, Haas program, 250,000 hole. I got up tool one, G54. I'm just going to the X, Y, zero. I'm just going to the center of where I wanna be, call it my tool length, and then I'm actually gonna go into my drill can cycle. So I have G83. Z, negative five, uh, 500 thousandths, R100, and then I got a Q, okay, so I'm doing a, a deep hole, okay, normally in industry you just go G81 all the way through, just kind of depends on the application on what we're doing. So I'm using a G83, I'm going down a little bit at a time, but remember, I have the L0 on there. So with the L0, that means this line of code will not drill a hole. So the next thing I'm gonna have is my G70, my I of one inch, 500 thousandths, my J of 45 degrees, and I have an L of eight. So let's go ahead and watch and see what this does. Let's go cycle start, there we go. So I went to my first hole all the way around. So I came to the middle because it's always gonna come back to where you started. So let's watch that again, a little bit slower. Let's turn on our single block. And let's go through. So I am now at X, Y, zero. So it picked up my G83 just now, but it did not drill a hole. So now it's gonna start going around. There's one hole, two hole, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So wait, drills the hole and then immediately comes back to center. So that's how that can cycle works. So I'll take off my single block or I'll just go ahead and finish it out. Okay, that looks good. So now that is how you program a bolt hole circle with a G70. Now make sure that you're using the Haas and not a Fanuc, because a Fanuc is gonna require a little bit something different. I'm gonna show you what that is. So I'm gonna come up to my program. I already sure have one made. I will select it. So remember, if I want to hit cycle start, turn off my single block, I'm gonna have an alarm, okay? Because it does not recognize a G16. Okay, for the, the application that I'm using it for. So, but what I'll do is I'll kind of come over here and look at it a little bit. Everything is the same. I go to my XY0, I come up one inch above, or 100,000 above my part, and then, if you'll notice, this says polar coordinates on. So what does that mean? Well, on a Fanuc, you're gonna be using polar coordinates to do your bolt hole circle. So, G16 will turn on my polar coordinates then G83 will turn on my uh, can cycle, same can cycle, drill can cycle. So it's gonna go X 1.5 and then Y zero. So what does that mean? So 1.5 is my distance from center of my bolt hole circle to the center of the drilled hole, okay? So, but my Y, if you'll notice, is zero. So what I did was I went to from here, I drilled right there. I went right to three o'clock. I can do that on the Fanuc style. So if I come back, I'll see that I'm going down a half inch. R is the same, feed rate's the same. So now if I look down here, if I keep coming down, see if it'll let me do it. So if you'll notice, I have an X 1.5 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more times. That's eight holes. My first one plus the next one. So on polar coordinates programming, my X is my distance from the center to the edge of the hole, okay? So that distance right there, that one inch, 500 thousandths, and then my Y equals my angle. My Y is the angle, because if you'll notice, my first one was at Y zero, and then my next one is at Y 45. So as I keep going, I got 45, 90, 135, 180, 225, 270, 315. So that's how it works. And then, very important, when you are done, can cycle cancel. You have to turn off a can cycle and then G15 is polar coordinates off. So once I turn it off, I go back to my programming, I can move to a different hole. And that's how I would do it on the Fanuc style programming. Um, that's all I got for this video. I hope this helps you with your bolt hole circle programming. Uh, if you have any questions, again, my name is Aaron Rump, and thank you for watching the video.